So with this kit, I've got some of this food grade sanitizer. It's very, very important in making beer that we use uh, sanitizer to sanitize all of our equipment that we are going to use in the beer making process. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put exactly half of the bottle that we get with the kit into the jug here so that the jug itself as well as the tap um, everything else that we're going to use gets sanitized and there can be no bacteria or virus or anything that can get into the beer and can contaminate the process of making beer so what we're going to do now is we're going to leave everything in here for 10 minutes to disinfect and then we're going to use the same disinfectant to disinfect everything that we're going to use including our packet of yeast and our water here so the sanitizer just stood here for 10 minutes now so we are sure that everything that was in here was sanitized now we're just going to use this little spray bottle that we got with the kit we're going to fill it up with some of the sanitizer and then we're going to use that to sanitize everything that we that goes into the beer uh, including the packet of yeast the wort etc you just have to make sure that when you throw away the sanitizer that's in here right now that you do throw it down the drain and you don't throw it into your plants or the grass because it will kill the plants so when you throw this down the drain just be sure to um, let some of this go through the little tap to make sure that the tap is also sanitized so what we're going to do now as you can see um, the bucket is still wet but uh, that's good because this is a no rinse sanitizer we keep the sanitizer that was in it we keep it all on it so uh, we're going to spray everything now with the sanitizer to make sure that it's still sanitized when we open it and when we use it to make our beer so this includes these bottles of water that we are going to use to um, make the beer with we're going to use the bottled water but you, if you have good tap water good quality tap water you, are, you can use it as well I'm going to spray the yeast on the packet put it right here everything that we take out of this bucket that we use to um, let's just make sure that is also sanitized and make sure the the border is also sanitized everything that we take out of here this was in the sanitizer just to make sure I'm going to sanitize it again put it here on the sanitized um, paper the this as well and this when we're going to fill it up we are going to fill it up with the sanitizer because normal water will make algae or um, will get dirty but the sanitizer will stay clean also we're going to open the ward right now and we're going to sanitize the tap there as well so now we're going to put the sanitized bucket on the floor and we're going to let the ward pour into the into the bucket um, it's good to get oxygen into the water that you're going to use when you make this beer for the fermentation so we are going to pour it down from a, a little bit of a distance to make sure there comes a bit, a bit of air into it it's going to take about 10 minutes to pour into the bucket uh, while it pours into it make sure nothing falls into the bucket as you can see here um, as it's being poured you can see a lot of foam forming on top of it this is a good sign this means that we are getting enough oxygen into the mixture for good fermentation for the yeast to, to, to use to ferment this beer. Alright, so as you guys can see we've got the wort in here. It has foamed nicely, um, which means it's good. And we're just going to pour the water in here and we're going to stir it a little bit with a very well sanitized spoon. As you can see the spoon is very well sanitized. The little droplets are still on it. So we're going to make sure the water is well sanitized when we throw it in there. I'm sanitizing my hand as well to make sure when I open it, it's sanitized. Very important that we use a good quality water. If the water out of your taps are um, good out of the tap, if you can drink it out of the tap and it tastes good, then it means your water is good. If it's got a metal or a chlorine taste to it, rather not use your tap water. Filter it first or just buy some store-bought water. So we are going to stir it now, but before we stir it, we sanitize it first, the spoon. Just a few stirs to make sure that all of the uh, water has, has dissolved into the water well. 
So before we throw in the yeast, we again sanitize the scissors. We sanitize the packet of yeast to make sure everything is clean. On the specific yeast that you get, you'll see there's a temperature. This one says that it needs to be between 15 and 20 de 22 degrees Celsius, the water that you're using. Um, because it's nice and cool today, we know that our temperature is good for, for the beer. So on our th fermenter, we've got a sticker that is also a, a thermometer. Um, as you can see, it will turn red when it reaches a specific temperature. It's a little bit cloudy outside. It's a cool day, so we know it's a little bit less than 18 degrees, but it's definitely not less than 15 degrees, so we know we're good to go. So we're just going to um, sprinkle the yeast over it when we cut it open. Um, we're going to make sure that we don't need to stir it. We're just going to sprinkle it all over it, and we're going to prepare our lid. We're going to close it. And we're going to leave it for seven days or until it stops bubbling so that, and then we know that it will be ready to be bottled so as you can see from what uh, from the little airlock here that is bubbling means fermentation has already started the moment it stops bubbling, you'll know that it's ready.